Well, hello, coming at you live from my bathroom. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Looking a little bit different today because we are in my bathroom. Today, I wanna get unready with you guys. So I'm gonna be showing you guys my nighttime skin and hair routine. It's super simple, nothing crazy complicated, but it's a routine that I really swear by and I do this religiously every single night. So before we jump in, please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can get notified every single time that new new drops. All right, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, let's go ahead and tackle the skin. <sighs> I had such a good makeup day and I don't wanna take it off, but it's gotta go. So first, I'm grabbing a little headband, one of these thicker ones here. It's just one of those simple you know, headbands that every single pharmacy has. I picked mine up at Walgreens. So I'm basically just putting this on so that my hair can just be out of the way while we're dealing with my skin. Boom, done. Looks a little crazy, but it's fine. So for my skin, to remove my makeup, I kind of have sensitive skin that can tend to be drier at night. Like it's really combination skin, but at night is when it tends to get like more on the drier side. So I have like a three step makeup removal process. So first I go in with my cleansing oil and this is by Tatcha. This is super hydrating and this is my first step into getting the makeup off of my face. Oh my gosh, I forgot to take off my lashes. Oh, these are so comfy. I forgot I was wearing them. Okay, let's let's do this Okay, much better. It really just starts to break down all of the products and everything So really getting in that cleansing without stripping once I rubbed the oil all into my face Then I'm just washing it off with warm water and then moving on to my next step for step number two I'm using a micellar water. This is the cleansing spa water by Ko Jen Do. I think that's how you pronounce it It's a Korean brand, but I absolutely love this micellar water so much more than a few others that I've tried because it's definitely not stingy at all So I just apply a few pumps to a cotton pad and then wipe my face Basically, this is just gonna wipe off any of the additional like excess makeup that the oil wasn't able to take off all right, so this is all the makeup that the cleansing oil wasn't able to get. So this is kind of why I like to do it in different steps because each step cleanses at like another level so that you make sure that all traces of makeup are gone. That is so, so important to making sure that your skin is staying nice and healthy. Do not, I repeat, do not go to bed with your makeup on your skin. That is like the worst thing you can do, like ever. All right, and then my final step of cleansing is just using a regular face cleanser. So the one that I really, really love is also by Tatcha, and this is just called the Deep Cleanse. I know that the products that I've been mentioning here so far are like kind of bougie. They're a little bit more on the expensive side. Um, there is another face wash that I like which is this one here. This is the Milk Makeup Vegan Milk Cleanser. This is the bombs.com. So I usually use this throughout the day. This one stays in my shower. And then this one just stays by my sink just because I have the two of them. But honestly, I could do with this one and I know it's a lot cheaper than this. So I'll tag everything below in the description box so you can check them out. But I will say that there are a few things in my skincare routine that I prefer to spend an extra penny on because I'm really, really into making sure that my skin is like top notch. That is when your makeup always looks the most bomb. When your skin is in check, it's just good, healthy, happy. If there's one thing that I splurge on, it's my skincare. I'm also super picky about skincare in itself. I like to use clean cosmetics, non-toxic cosmetics. Like I'm really, really into that. If you just Google bad cosmetic ingredients, the stuff you'll find is wild. So like I'm really, really picky and really into using cleaner, non-toxic products. But yeah, let's go ahead and do this deep cleanse. All right, so let's go ahead and do a little white towel test. Boom, no brown, no makeup. I like to do this test to just make sure that my skin is like clean. Oh my gosh, this feels so good. This is usually like my favorite part of the day. I love makeup, but there's just something about taking it off and just feeling that skin again. Oh, my favorite thing about the three products that I used is that my skin does not feel dry right now. It doesn't feel like it's crying for moisture. It doesn't feel like it's completely stripped. Like it's super clean, but it doesn't feel like it's dying at the same time. I do think there are probably other more affordable products out there that you can use right now and kind of just mimic the same kind of routine. But these are just basically what I use, what I love and what I trust. 
All right, so for my nighttime skincare prep, I really like it to be all about moisture. Like I said, in the nighttime, my skin tends to be a little bit more dry. So first things first, this is actually a recent addition to my skincare routine, but I'm obsessed. And so I do this morning and night, but I'm grabbing my toner. This is by Glow Recipe. This is their new Watermelon Glow PHA plus BHA Pore Tight Toner. It's hydrating and pore refining. It's honestly just the most bombest toner that I've ever used ever. Like again, some other tones that I've used can be stingy, it can be drying, but this is actually like the first step to my hydration. Like it just, it feels so good on the skin. So I am using their reusable con pads. I love the fact that they're reusable, that's so good for the earth. I just feel good using them and then they work really well as well. They're super absorbent. I like to focus this product first, like right here under my eyes. That's where I have like the biggest pores. So I put majority of the product right there. All right, so next up, I'm gonna go in with a serum. I love using vitamin C serums at night. So the one that I'm currently obsessed with is the Tatcha Violet C Brightening Serum. So vitamin C is honestly like a major key for the skin. Like for example, if you get breakouts like me like once a month, you know, that time of the month, um, when you're using vitamin C regularly, you don't get dark marks that stay very long. It just really helps to even out your skin tone and it's just good for your skin. Let me let that just soak into the skin a little bit. Make sure you let your serums, your toner, like every little step, make sure you give your skin like few seconds to drink it all in, allow it to dry, and then move on to your next step. Okay, so moving right along, next I'm grabbing an eye cream, and my current all-time favorite for nighttime is a Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Sleeping Mask. This just feels so good. That's really the main reason why I use eye masks, is because they feel good and they keep under there super nice and moisturized. I love that this product comes with this cute little spoon. It is so cute, and it keeps it all nice and hygienic, so you're not digging your finger in there every day. So you should be super gentle when you're applying any products to your under eyes just because that skin is like extra sensitive and you don't want to create any bags or anything like that. So be extra sensitive and also always push upwards. You never want to push down. All right, and then for the last step, it's just going to be moisturizer. So I have two that I want to share with you guys today. One that I really, really love is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. This is majorly bougie, okay? I think this cream is about $100 and I keep getting them as gifts, so I'm so thankful for that, but I don't know if I'd actually be able to purchase an $100 moisturizer. I just, I don't think I can do it. There's so many others out there that work really well as well, but I do genuinely really love this, but again, am I saying you need to go ahead and purchase it? Probably not, sis. But just wanted to be transparent that this is what I use majority of the time. I also wanted to mention this Drunk Elephant Electrolyte Water Facial. So it's basically their hydrating mask and it's like an overnight mask and I literally use this every other night. I used it last night so I don't think I'm gonna go in with it tonight but it is so so good especially if you have dry skin and you just need that added moisture. Oh, it, it is bomb. So yeah for today I'm just gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. So actually, another more affordable moisturizer that you can check out, and I'm planning to order this soon actually, is the moisturizer version of this. So it's their vegan moisturizer, I believe, also by Milk Makeup. It's also in this neon yellow packaging. It's so good. I tried a teeny like sample size, and I remember thinking that I liked it. But for me, like when I'm using skincare, I like to use it consistently for a while before I actually make a solid opinion on it, like at least like two to four weeks. Um, so I wasn't able to do that, but I am planning on ordering it just because I was so impressed with the face wash. So this is definitely another moisturizer that you can check out if you're looking for something much more affordable because $100 moisturizer is just, that's just not something I could do. All right, so that is basically it for my skin. We are all done and moisturized. So now I'm gonna show y'all super quick what I like to do for my hair at night. So I promise you this is about to be the quickest nighttime hair routine ever, okay? So I'm just gonna grab one of my super stretched out hair ties. Y'all know I love these big seamless ones that have like no clip or anything in them. And I'm just taking one that I've used like multiple times before. I know it's super stretched out, so it's gonna be nice and super loose. And then I'm just gonna bend my head over and pull my hair up. And then, just gonna loop it around for a nice and super loose pineapple. This is it. 
this is it. This is the nighttime routine. I like to keep everything in my routine nice and simple. I don't like the whole 100 step skincare routine or like the 100 step nighttime routine for your hair. Like this is literally all I do. And I basically just make sure that on my wash days I'm applying all the products that I need so that throughout like the next two to three days afterwards I won't have to keep reapplying products as much. So yeah, this is all that it does and basically what this does is this is like loosely clipping up all of my hair so that tomorrow when I take it out I just shake it out spray it a little bit and then I'm good to go I actually did a video all about how I refresh my curls from a pineapple to wearing it out again so if you guys are interested in checking that out I will link it up here as well as in the description box below I told y'all it was about to be the quickest nighttime hair routine ever so yeah, that is basically my nighttime routine. I've been getting so, so many questions on my hair and skin nighttime routine. So here it is. There you have it. If you guys have any additional questions, just go ahead and comment them below. And if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up while you're at it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. But before you leave, two more videos for you to check out right here. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.